laps. And we've now four teams set to go and do battle for this championship. But just before we talk about today's match, we'll go back seven days to the match that put two of the four teams that are here tonight in this final. A great match a week ago, Dave Wyman. Oh, it was a great match a week ago, Bruce. Uh, Paulette White, Steve Webb from box number three, I believe it was. They never looked back. Steve Webb put together... A, a double strike, and from there, it was just all the way up to a 231. They had a 120 and 111. There you see it on the scoreboard on your TV at home. And finishing second, Heather Smith, Jeff Sampson. They also put a few marks together. As soon as Steve got up and put his double strike up, Jeff Sampson got up and put spares up, and they ended up with 125.92 for a 217 double. And uh, Gloria Williams, Grand Lassen, they, well, just, Graham wasn't on his game, and Gloria, yeah. and... Uh, Gloria, well, she was just motoring along there, and she was bowling about the same. She didn't seem to be on her game as yeah. well as she had been in weeks gone by either. They had a 97, 102 for a 199 double. Then Shirley Ann Williams and Mike Peskett, 87, 101 for 188. Unfortunately, they didn't get to move on, but I'm sure we'll see them back next year qualifying for this all over again. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations to all the bowlers who uh, made it, 64 of them uh, qualified to get in this one. There are only eight bowlers left, making up our four teams. Let's meet those four teams in the order in which they're going to bowl, and this is the four teams meeting in our championship matchup for our frame plus art mixed doubles. The leadoff bowler in team number one will be Paulette White. Paulette's from Sackville. She bowls over to the Super Bowl in the Heather Lanes. She has a 100 average, 145 high single, and her triple is 360. Her partner is Stevie Webb from Halifax. He bowls over to the Halifax Fair Lane Center, has a 125 average, a 202 high single. Stevie Webb has a triple of 506. The second team is made up of Tanya Holt. She's from Sackville. She bowls at the Halifax Shopping Center. That's the Fairlane Center there. She has the 106 average, 156 high single, and a 372 triple. Her partner is Charlie Slon White from Halifax. Bowls over the Fairlane Center. 120 is Charlie's average. 188 is single, and 462 the high triple for Charlie Slon White. Team number three is made up of Annette Tanner from Halifax. She bowls over to the South Center in Spryfield and the Super Bowl. She has a 110 average, a 168 high single, and an excellent 426 triple for Annette Tanner. Annette's partner is Barry Soward. Barry from Halifax bowls over to the Fairlane Center. 125 the average for Barry Soward. 199 his single, and an excellent 463 the high triple of Barry Soward. Now, fourth and final team is made up of Heather Smith from Sackville. She bowls over to the Super Bowl in Heather Lane Center. She has a 103 average, a 163 single, and a 373 triple. And our fourth team member making up the second half of the Heather Smith team is Jeff Sampson. Jeff is from Woodside. He bowls over to the Baisley Lane Center in Dartmouth. Jeff has a 120, 120 average, rather, a 178 single, and a 443 triple for Jeff Sampson. Those, then, are the four teams that are vying for the prize of $1,000. That's the top prize money. And of course, we have prize money also of $500 for second, $300 for third, and $100 for fourth place money. Should be a very, very interesting evening, Dave One. Boy, we're in for a match. Yeah. Uh, there's four great teams here. They have to be great teams. They've battled all the way down to this, so we've got... This is the cream of the crop. Of yep. the 32 teams that we have, or I should say the 32 bowlers that we have. Yeah. 64, 64 bowlers, bowlers in total. Oh, my 32 uh -oh. teams were. 32. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it here. But uh, we're in for a long some, series for yeah. you, too, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to have some exciting bowling tonight. We've got a one final case of Coke to give away yes, tonight. Do. You get to write a check for your final time this year for that double <laughs> strike. $25 for the double. And uh, I guess this is going to be it for this year for the Pizance Bowling for Bucks. That'll take place at halftime. That's right. Lucky viewer at home is going to have a chance to win uh, $25, $15, or whatever's I'll left tell you what, in pinfall. Mailbag is as full as it can get right now. We're going to draw one letter out for that Pizance Bowling for Bucks. Should be a great evening of bowling. Put your feet up and relax for this one. I'm sure you're going to be entertained. Let's get it underway as Paulette White gets up on the approach to bowl through frames one and two. And this, our final. It's the Frame Plus Art Mixed Candle Pin Championship. Well, I suppose. 
you call that white. There's going to be a little bit of pressure on you. Oh, boy, there's got to be pressure. But all the bowlers are looking at it this way. They're here. Yeah, that's right. But there is a big difference between $100 and $1,000. Yeah, that's right. Then that is the difference between first place and fourth. As we watch all at white here. Hey, that's oh, a nice, nice look shot. out there. And I'll tell you what, they are hanging from the rafters here at the Super Bowl. Big crowd on hand, and why not? This kind of entertainment. You know what wouldn't go over too well right now? I don't think I want to hear it. <laughs> Power failure. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't go good at all, would it? Barry Manilow has a song called Dancing in the Dark. We'd be bowling in the dark. <laughs> Look at this. Just nice falling try. in behind that. Nice try by Paulette White. Boy, she bowled well in this series. And the, maybe the biggest tribute at all, of all rather, of our 64 bowlers competing. Uh, they all seem to have a good time here. Win, lose, or draw. Yeah. Tanya, hold up now. You'd mentioned that Paulette White is sponsored by GW Cribby and has been all the way through this tournament. Tanya Holt here, sponsored by Babcock and Wilcock Construction, Burnside Industrial Park. Here first ball. And she hits pretty good, gets on the front end just a tad thin. Now she does have the piece of wood out there. She can come off the end of the wood, try and get something over on the four, seven, eight, and maybe get the wood to take the nine. I think the Bruce Tricky shot. I think Bruce, the team that jumps out in front tonight first, is the one that we're going to have to watch. Well, that's quite it's, possible. It's been yeah. right through our series. There's always been one team yeah. that jumps out in first. Whether they do lose it through the match, they always seem to get it back. Yeah. And they go on to win it. And yeah. this is, uh, it's been just tradition all through this whole series. Tanya to the other side now. We've been saying for 14 weeks. First or second, it doesn't matter. You're going to move on. It matters tonight. $500 worth, it matters. That's a big hit by Tanya there. Now, she has a piece of wood. Well, the complexion of that shot is changing. It's going to point to that piece of wood that's angled over towards the 10. Well, I don't think I'd be messing no, with now. that piece of wood now. No, I'd be right in on the pin. Right on. She's got too much in her way to use that piece of wood. Tanya's mother, father, brother. We're all here tonight to watch. Of course, I think anybody that's bowling has relatives here tonight, just about. Yeah, there is a big, big crowd here. Most of which you don't see. I don't mean you, David, I mean the... <laughs> <laughs> but Tanya there. Comes up with the eight and the nine. And that Tanner steps up. She's bowled well, as I mentioned before. All the bowlers seem to really come up big, and I guess that's why they're here. And that is sponsored by the Sackville Bottle Exchange. We thank them for their sponsorship of Annette in this series and uh, for their great contribution to candle pin bowling. Let's see our colleague is here, Art Smith. Well, that's right. He uh, was here with Stephen Smith for a couple of weeks and helped us out immensely. Yep. Stephen Smith is in the audience somewhere. Yes, he is. There he is right there, sitting in the second row. Wouldn't miss this with his wife, Heather, bowling. And that Tana, we've talked about her before. She's an excellent product of the youth bowling program, but uh, also in this one is Tanya Holt. We saw her a minute ago. She, too, came up through the YBC ranks. Yep. Currently, Annette Tanner working on a degree at Mount St. Vincent University. Off the side, she leaves the one, two, and the four. Pretty nice split there. That's a good looking shot there. And that's the first mark of the competition. Now we go to Heather Smith. Heather, the real estate agent from Home Life, Pat King, and that's her sponsor in this competition. 
want to buy or sell, give her a call. Want a little bit of something about bowling, you might want to call her too. Pretty good one. As the wood now on the left hand side, she'll use that and try to pick up the single pin. And through the middle. So that's an eight for Heather Smith to open. Mention Stevens here, couple of children. Jackie and Steven. Oh, they're checking on mom to see how she's doing. Front end this time. Look at this action. Well, maybe. Well, let's take a tight look at that shot. Boy, we've got wood. Of wood. Six pieces. Got wood. Lots uh -huh. and lots of wood. I think she might want to be down low, the right hand side, almost on the pin. I'm thinking right down the center, Bruce. Right in that center Here piece. Goes. Of wood. goes in the center. You were right. There is the spare for Heather Smith. Now. Gonna go to the men, top of the order, Stephen Webb. Good crowd on hand tonight. Boy, it's packed. Yeah. Standing room only. <laughs> They're a buzz right now. Stevie Webb. Off to the right hand side a little bit. Charlie Sloan White. Another guy that's here twice had to come up really big. Big marks in the last couple of frames. Speaking of big marks, look at that. That's a real tough split for Stevie Webb, and he just blew those pins away. you got to be impressed with that. Now to the other side. Definitely electricity in the air. Bang! Oh, strike boy. on the spare. Did you see the last pin to fall? No. <laughs> Did you see the first pin Ooh. to fall? Wow, he was on the one. <laughs> After that, it was a blur. <laughs> well, Charlie Sloan White. Pressure's on already. Last match. Semi-final play, Stevie got up. He threw two balls and had two strikes. This time he had to throw three. Spare a strike. Charlie Slam went off to the side, trying to get the ball to work a little bit. That wood turned, it'll help him. And it turned a little bit. Now it's moving back, as you can see. Mess up a good shot here, maybe. Charlie's watching that. Oh. Nice oh, look boy. At what a you great shot. Wonder. You see a little dejected look in Charlie's face, and you don't see that very often, but... Not in a shot like that. Yeah, yeah that took the heart out of him. He yeah. hit that uh, a ton. That was well hit. Caught the channel there. That'll be the nine for Charlie. Boy, was that well hit. Full hit. Good Three, hit six, again. and seven. Seven could be the Nemesis again here. Three, six look good. Oh, right on the three that time. quite far enough. So, Charlie Sloan White bowls a couple of frames, gets everything twice, but except the seven. A couple of nines, and he gives way now to Barry Sauer. Barry Wook, Wook. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Barry working on a spare that and that Tanner put up in the second frame. He really wanted yeah. to put a load on this. Oh, and he does. Can't get any more than that. Boy, Barry so Soward, his first ball gets a strike. Barry Soward, sponsored by Halifax Fairlane. 
bench and the Charlie Sloan why carries the colors of Ray Fredericks insurance. Stevie Webb is sponsored by the Bedford Place Ultramar. All our sponsors couldn't have picked better bowlers. No nope. sponsor. They're all here Looking for the double twenty five dollars not to be punched on the left hand side. Here to sink this one deep, the one three pocket. Oh, it's on the three, boy. So four on the strike. That'll hurt. You know, we said this game of candle pins a fickle game. It can court you one minute and kill you the next. And through oh. the hole. So a moment ago, he was at a strike to open up on the spare. He's got four on, four in the box. Brings up our eighth and final bowler in Jeff Sampson, sponsored by CCM Limited, landscaping and grass cutting in Dartmouth. Jeff and his partner, Heather Smith. Got here through semifinal play with a 217 total. That either out of the overhead view of this one. Yeah, five, seven, eight, wood, completely covering the five, or I should say the seven and eight pin. So just a matter of going in on the five, split them. He wants to kick the ball off the five right into that wood. Here's the shot. Get the five. Go back after the single pin. That good. Yes, he finally did. He didn't see that one, but that pin went there, and now it's gone. And he's dealing only with the seven pin. Single pin here to mark for Jeff Sampson. Match carries a prize of one thousand dollars for the first place team. No two teams advance here. No. When you get a half that thousand, if you finish second. On the pin, under big time pressure for Jeff Sampson, and he picks up the mark. Well, already only four frames into this one, and we've seen some fireworks, and I'm sure it'll continue. We'll be back with more of this action right after this. War Amps Key Tags, symbol of our work across Canada. Leo Latulip, a War Amputee, and Martin Leblanc, a member of the War Amps Child Amputee Program where many of his special needs will be met, like the new artificial arm we are making him, and counseling, and the chance to meet other amputees. The War Amps Child Amputee Program will meet all these needs. Welcome back once again to the Super Bowl. Four frames into this one. It's the final match in our Frame Plus Art Mixed Candlepin Challenge. Let's put the numbers up on the board. And we mentioned, David, going to the break that uh, we saw some fireworks, and indeed we did. And I guess the scores will pretty much attest to that. Oh, they have to. We're leading right now, Paulette White, Stephen Webb. They put together two tens, a spare, and a strike. They're sitting at 50 plus two balls. In second spot right now, we have Annette Tanner and Barry Sourd sitting at 46. Third spot, we have Heather Smith and Jeff Sampson sitting at 45 plus a ball. So uh, that second place lead will ch or should change. And finally rounding out the field with three nines and an eight. Tanya Holt, Charlie Slomwhite sitting with 35 after four. It's only four frames into the match, Bruce. 
16 to come. It's going to change again and again. Yeah, so. well, that's the way we like them. The seesaw battles are certainly the most interesting, and this has all the makings of that kind of a matchup. It is, of course, the final $1,000 to the first place team in this one. 500, which isn't shabby, but it's only half that much for second, 300, and then 100. So every ball and every pin becomes more and more important. Lots of bowling yet to come. Let's go back to the action once again and take a look at Paulette White as she gets up to bowl through frames five and six this time, spring number one of two. It's the championship game. Our frame plus art makes Candleton challenge. Off to the right-hand side. That's a tough split there for Paulette. She's working on that strike that Steve picked up in That's the right. fourth frame now. She's trying to get on that front pin. Hope for the best. Once she gets one more pin, so count seven on the mark, that being the strike. That's nine. not a bad nine for Paulette White. So she goes to the other side now. Oh, just off, off to the, the right. Bit. Yeah. Better ball, better That's ball. A great shot. Yes. She's got it. And you saw the reaction there. <laughs> Boy, this uh, Webb and White team are right on. So far, they haven't stopped. No. Seeing the same thing again as we saw last week. They're piling the marks up. Now, Tanya Holt. Charlie and Tar. Charlie. <laughs> Long day. Charlie. And Tanya looking for their first mark. Tanya almost had a strike. A nine pin break, but missed it. Tanya says she likes the pressure. Some bowlers really do thrive on that. Off to the right hand side a little bit there. That might get away. Tanya Holt, we mentioned earlier, that came up to the youth bowling program system. If you don't know about your YBC, a youth program, nice she cleans the plate there, go to your local bowling center and say, hey, can you tell me a bit about the youth program, or do you have one? And uh, maybe see the program director kind of explain things to you, tell you how it works. It's a great program. Teach these kids uh, a lot more than just how to bowl. She likes Tanya that. Holt. Yes, sir. Well, <laughs> thrill a minute here today. And indeed, it should be now. It's awful quiet. Yeah. This is Annette Tanner. She gets on the front end. Can I get more? It's going to get a little healthier. It's not all that bad if it's wood stays. Oh, it's going to roll out a little bit. If it goes back and it covers the seven, it's still still not bad. Not bad. Oh, nice try. Oh, she was inches. trying to guide that in with a little sure English. Was, yeah. Should go for the nine. She does. That is the nine then for Annette Tennis who goes to the other side. Four horsemen plus the eight for Annette Tanner. A little coverage on the eight pin. She wants to split the one and the three. She's got to worry about the eight and the ten though. Oh, she's got to worry about them all. Just a reminder, if you have a letter in for our Pazant Bowling for Bucks, and I'll tell you this, many, many people do. We're going to draw one final letter out of that mailbag for our Bowling for Bucks, and that'll come up at uh, halftime. The conclusion of the first string, $25 for a strike, $15 for a spare, a dollar a pin. Should be a lot of fun. It has been now for, what, 44 weeks. Yeah, this is... 
Heather week, Smith up. Week number 45. Now, she's open on the mark that partner Jeff Sampson put up. She counts six on that mark, covers nicely the 10. Let's see what happens here. Oh, she just slid by. She come big in the one two pocket here. Right on the one, that'll be a seven for Heather Smith. superb in this match at least this competition so far pretty good in the match too but struggling a little bit here she opened with an eight then had a spare on it partner Jeff Sampson got seven on that spare and a ten then spared himself you saw Heather in the last frame get six on that mark mm, it's a rough six box there for Heather Smith once again we go back to the top of the order and uh, Take a look at Stephen Webb. And he is open on the spare that his partner Paulette White picked up. This team right now, after six frames, at 76, 16 over and open. 26, of course. Oh, boy, he's kind of do it again. Dropped his ball there. That's a uh, tough break for Stevie, big break for the other bowlers. This is all about first place here in this one this evening. And Stevie Webb punches through. And Stephen Webb picks up the eight there. Dave Loops marking the big board here at the Super Bowl today, and his wife is Marilyn on the lob and foul line. Thank them for that. Stevie cranks it up and fires. Oh, boy, he sliced that out of there, Slick. Yeah. <laughs> Cut the legs right out from underneath that bit. Charlie Slon White up now. Charlie open on the strike. His partner, Tanya Holt, put up. $25, of course, for the double here. See if he can double here. That's a good hit, and boy, well, this is going to depend on... Well, it's We're there. That's, that is there. That is there. Now he does have to get the ball over and take the 10. A little high on the wood, maybe. Somewhere between the red band and the top of the wood. Try and get that ball to bounce off the wood over into 10, and the wood should do the rest for him. There it is. Too high. Does count eight on the strike, however. Now we'll come to the left-hand side. He has the four pin there covered nicely. Far to the left hand side. Eight for Charlie. Sixteen pins out of first place right now. And Webb and White are open. There's a good hit for Charlie. Not Wood a bad coming break. back. Gonna back that up a little bit. Spare this up for Tanya yeah. when she comes up. Kicker here is that uh, he has to be on the front pin. It's not frozen with that wood behind it. There you see the shot. Boy, get on that pin. Blows those pins away. Charlie little pump. That'll bring up Barry Soward now. Barry 
and his partner. Net Tanner currently in second place by two pins, but uh, as you saw, Charlie just picked up the mark there, so they'll have a ball working. Oh, oh, good effort there. He leaves himself the six and seven pin. Be on the six and try for ten. Ah, he picks up nine. Nice nine. Well, set sixteen moves to fifteen. Wants to put a mark here. Everybody is marked so far in the eighth frame. Barry would like to follow suit. There it is. Ooh, mark this time he's gonna earn it. Single pin over in the corner, the ten pin. Yeah, that's and then a little bunch to four, seven, eight. Well, Wood's going to come into play here, Bruce. He's got to use the wood out front. Yeah, that's that's a real tough shot. I don't, I don't see how he can make it unless he brings the ball off the wood on the yeah. 10 and the wood off the kickback the other way. Try to get the ball in on the 4, 7, 8. That's just a tough shot. Now he's got a good one for 10. He makes it. Take a look at Jeff Sampson now. One pin, the difference, the difference rather now between Holt and Slon White and Tanner and Soward. Tanner and Soward hold that lead, but Holt and Slon White open. This team, did I say for a second? This team of Jeff Sampson and Heather Smith are in second by actually two pins. Well, this is straightforward so here. 81, 82, 84. That, of course, assuming tens. The two, four, and six. It's got to be in on the two, four. Split it. Send the two pin. Mm. That's tough. That wants to make sure of those two pins. Yeah, and that's what he wanted to do. Good looking 10 there from Jeff Sampson. So Jeff to the other side now. that really is going to help him here. Oh, and look at this. <laughs> a later falling eight. Well, no question about this. You know, on the four pin, that's a fish drop. Wait a minute. Piece of wood coming up front. Don't think that'll, well, no. I don't know. The camera says he no, he can't get by it, but. He could uh, use that wood as a bit of a guide coming in. Play the end of it and hope his ball goes straight through. No, I'm thinking of the one between the two pins. If oh, yeah. Buy, if you yeah. can buy the wood over yeah. front, you can sort of guide that in on the four and then on to the seven. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Oh. And you were right. He went by the whole thing. Got through. Well, Big that. mark for Jeff Sampson. We've got a terrific battle here, really, from top to bottom. Not much to choose at all for second place. And the lead on top is not that great either. We'll come back and let you take a, a look, rather, at all the numbers with just two frames to come to the halfway mark. We'll be back with more after this. Art, a major supplier of artwork in the metro area, and Pazant Building Products, an involved and active community member for over 25 years, building our homes and building our community.
welcome back to the Super Bowl in Sackville. There are only two frames to go in this, the first string of two. It's our final in our frame plus our mixed candle pin challenge. Two frames to go, and there's not a lot to choose, certainly in the battle for second place, and really between uh, second and first, there's only really a handful of pins, too. Yep. Let's put the numbers up on the board and take a look for yourself. And you might want to mark these numbers down as we put them up there and sort of keep the score as we go along. A lot of people like to do that. But right now, the leaders are Paulette White and Stephen Webb, and they are at 97 and have a ball working on a spare. In second spot, we have Heather Smith and Jeff Sampson, 84 after eight, and they have a ball working. They're on a spare. Third place, Tanya Holt, Charlie Sloan White, three pins back at 81, and they are in fourth place and open on a spare. <laughs> and the third place team, it's so close. <laughs> How close is it? It's so close. You can't tell the third place team from the fourth place team. Annette Tanner and Barry Soward at 82. So really from uh, fourth to third to second, there's not much to choose from at no. all. Three pins actually no. from second to fourth and only 16 to first place. Well, all in all, let me get a 13 from second to first place. Now that you are totally confused, I said write these right, numbers down. Yeah. There's one lady out there, she has a pad. It's full of numbers right now. <laughs> anyway, we'll set them up uh, when they come up the bowl so you can mark them down again. Let's go back to the action and take a look at Paulette White as she gets set the bowl through frames 9 and 10 and complete her team's first string. The important thing, Bruce, to remember, this is our final match. There is no first and second advance. No. This is first, second, third, and fourth. And That's there's a difference it. of $900 between first yeah. and fourth. On the mark there. The two frames to go, those numbers were Webb and White, 97 and open. 84 for Smith and Sampson, and with a ball working on a spare. 82 for Tanner and Soward and 81 and open for Holt and Sloan White. Everything was going fine until they teamed Paulette White and Stephen Webb up together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. Webb and White. And the thing is, Webb and White are usually winning. <laughs> Webb and White are winning. <laughs> yeah. Who paired them up anyway? <laughs> Who was the person that drew those names? Interesting point. Could be making. We mentioned before that they were all matched up by a draw. But for this match, the final match, the teams draw numbers over the hat to determine the order in which they're going to bowl. Tanya Holt up right now. Her team currently fourth, but only by three pins out of second. Open on a spare here. Well, if they were coming down the home stretch right now, this would be a torrid battle for second. Oh, yes. Off to the side. Well, it's going to get a little more. No, I guess not. Well, he's got a, actually a bad shot there, Bruce. He looks pretty good. I'd be concerned maybe about the nine pin. Well, if she's in the one three pocket, I don't think she'll have to worry about the nine. Doesn't have to worry now about the nine. She had to be on the object pin out the front. Nice oh, ten. Nice ten. You pick the ball off the pin out in front, the one, and onto the seven. Fourteen pins right now out of first place. We're going to talk a lot about that because first place is the big money. Boy, she likes lane 15, oh, doesn't yeah. she? Boy, if she could come up with a mark here and load it up. Draw pretty close to Webb and White. Right? White. <laughs> Find the left-hand side. Now a couple of pins down there. Gets them both. It'll be a 105 of the half. Webb and White in at 19, 119. Good ten. Oh. So with that ten, they come in at 105. Now, Annette Tanner. Current 
be in fourth place, but not that far out of second. Second, third, and fourth doesn't mean a lot right now. As far as the wording is concerned, it's the pin spread, and it's pretty tight. Whoops. single pin that's kind of tough for that there with that seven tanner and sour go to 89 with a frame to come into the halfway mark off to the side again Fighting a little bit to get on the front end. Oh. We think about the pin out in front. And that'd be the nine there for Annette Tanner. So a 98 for Tanner and Soward in their opening frame. Oh, Heather wants to put a pretty good little count on the spare. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad at all. Seven on it. Puts them 91 after eight. And looking at another one here. Charlie and Tanya sort of thing. Clearly. We don't need this right now. Yeah. To the other side. three pins. Heather lays it down. Oh, and through the hole, that'll be a seven. So the 108 at the half for Smith and Sampson. Halfway mark, it's the frame plus art. Candlepin challenge, it's our championship match. We've reached the halfway mark. Stay tuned, we come back. We're going to have our final installment of the Pizantz Bowling for Bucks. We'll bring you up to date on the scoreboard and then we'll get into string number two as we move on to declaring a champion in our frame plus art mixed candlepin championship. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sam at the halfway mark enjoying our championship match in our frame plus our candlepin challenge. And indeed it is interesting at the halfway mark. We're going to take a look at all the scores in just a moment. But before we do that, it is time for our final installment of right. the Pizantz Bowling for Bucks. This is it after what, 45 weeks and 
44 giveaways. We are down to our last episode of Pizantz Bowling for Bucks. Can't put the number up on the screen for you to write in for the next time because there is not a next time in this one. This series ends and that uh, the uh, giveaways end, of course, until we come up with our new series. However, uh, we will now show you, and there it is. That is the name of our at-home viewer that has been drawn out of the mailbag, that uh, viewer's letter. And up on the approach will be Stevie Webb. He will start things off because he and his partner, Paulette White, of course, are the uh, team leading at the halfway mark. Stevie Webb has a strike already here now. So let's see if he can get another one. $25 in our Pizantz Bowling for Bucks. Of course, if he doesn't get them all, Paulette will be up to get the job done. Yeah, well, I'll be calling upon Paulette. He's got a chance here. <laughs> There's Paulette. $6 guarantee, but we're going for more than that. Here's Paulette's shot. Boy, she oh. got on the object pin. Give her that. A pretty good effort. Nice for them to get the ball with not the, all the pressure of $1,000 on it, but for at home viewer, of course, there's pressure. <laughs> Let's see if Stevie can wrap this up. He gets one of the three, and that's an $8 bowling for bucks prize. And uh, we thank uh, the good folks at Pizantz Building Supplies for making that. Uh, very, very interesting yeah. feature possible throughout our telecast. Pizantz Bowling for Bucks, who knows? Maybe it'll return when we start again with our men's series. Right now, let's get down to business on this match. It is our championship match. It's the Frame Plus Art Mixed Candle Pin Championship. Let's put the numbers up on the board. You might want to mark them down. It's a halfway mark. This is how they stack up at halftime. And you see White and Webb are winning <laughs> at 119. 119 for White and Webb. In second spot, Heather Smith, Jeff Sampson. Gee, that's a lot easier. 108. And in third spot, we have Tanya Holt and Charlie Slomway at 105. And finally, rounding out our four teams, Annette Tanner, Barry Soward sitting at 98. Well, the interesting thing here, I think not for a moment to concede first place to White and Webb, but if you're looking at second place, there was really only 10 pins in yep. the difference between fourth and second, and that's a $500 prize versus a $100 prize. And uh, as we said again, we're certainly not conceding anything at this point in time, but it's just an interesting observation. Yeah. Second string coming up this time. The men will bowl first. They will bowl a total of six frames. The ladies four. Let's get Stevie Webb once again back up on the approach. He will bowl through the first couple of frames. And this string number two in the final string. And our frame plus art mixed candle pin final. Well, a little more pressure on the men here. They're going to bowl the six frames and the ladies are only going to bowl four. Good dose of pressure being handed out all around, really. Well, he's got a piece of wood covering the ten. And all out by itself is the two pin. Steve usually a pretty good shot maker, but oof. Missed on that one. I think he Decision time here. Do you play the pin with the wood for the nine? He does. He gets it. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, and look ten. at this. He gets that, too. <laughs> uh, that ball came back, and it doesn't take much. It'll be interesting to keep that shot in mind. See if they win this thing by a single pin. Wouldn't that oh, be interesting? Wouldn't that be interesting? You'd have to bronze that ball and put it on your mantle. Yeah. Knife the wood through behind the five and the four. Oh, nice try. Where's that ball again, says Stevie. Piece of wood just rolling off the lane and into the channel. And, and a nine. Yeah. Well, a 10 and a nine. He used the door open just a crack for the other three teams. Charlie Slon White up now. Boy, there's a guy that's been under a lot of pressure in this series twice. He has, the marks. yeah, and he has done it. Yeah. Last week was a, or two weeks ago was the first week that he could basically relax somewhat. Yeah. There's no pressure for him to come up and get that mark. He came up with a big time spare the first round. That 
was the one who made the one four seven ten, wasn't it? Yep. It's a great shot. And look at yes. this. Oh. Oh. Come on, says Charlie. You can do it. <laughs> wow. That is a shaky five pin. I tell you, I'd wait a little bit longer. That might go yet. <laughs> a piece of wood behind it. I think that's what's kind of keeping it there. That's still on the move. Well, it wasn't the wood. It wasn't frozen. That pin is still moving. Waving goodbye. <laughs> All right, the other side for Charlie. Just think what might have been if that pin had a gone. But he had five bonus pins. Well, got a shot here. The three six ten on the right. He's got to be right in here. Yeah. And bring it over that way. Oh boy. Worked pretty good. It did. That's the shot. Kick the pin over. It'll guide the six and ten. Ooh, had to be on the three. Charlie, you go to the other side now. Try and pick that up. And he gets it both there. So Charlie Swan White opens up with a couple of nines, gives way to Barry Sauer. Barry's team in fourth place right now, but only 10 pins out a second. Oh. Pins out of first place are soured and tanner, so I'll say a lot can happen, but that's a rough one there. There's the gate for Barry Soured. Goes to the other side, or will in a moment, doing a little housekeeping up there right now. with the same shot a minute ago, but on the opposite side. See if Barry can do something with it. That's a good looking hit. Boy, that's a nice try for Barry Sauer. He's a single pin there. Championship trophy is full display and fire ball rack. All the bowlers get a good view of that of what might be. It's Jeff Sampson gets out. His team. Ten pins out of first place. That's not much. No, ten pins isn't much at all. Three horsemen as the seven goes down. Do this with a limp. <laughs> yeah, really. Still. No marks at the second string. No, the opportunities are there. That's right. To make gains. Maybe the boys are going to leave it up to the ladies. They're due up in just a moment. Five. We got a break, but he's got to worry about this pin. 
Right here. This is yeah. the guy back here. A little white tornado above it there. <laughs> Did that what? <laughs> Looks like the top of about four pins. Carolyn Caps. Again, had to be on the one out in front. Jeff just missing on the object pin. Just come back with a single pin here. So get that. So Jeff Sampson pins well with a couple of tens here. Let's go to the ladies. 12 frames on our way to 20. Or third frame, second string, depending how you want to look at it. Top of the order with Paulette White. Her team leading. White and Webb, 10 up on Smith and Sampson. Straightforward shot. There's only one place to be here. Split the one and the two. And hope the pins do what they're supposed to do. Oh, she oh did. beautiful shot. She's come up with a couple of big marks. The thing about this team, when Stevie Webb falters. Boy, she's got a smile it, on yeah, her she's face. First, <laughs> she's been picking it up. <laughs> I like this. I don't like this game, she says. Again, a chance here, but the, considering the wood. Well, she does have the wood there. The ball is on its way. To the right-hand side that time. And that'll be the eight box there for Paulette White after picking up six on the mark. Now Tanya Holt takes a little practice slide. She and her partner Charlie Sloan White. 19 pins out of first place. Jay. Two, four, seven, and six. Yeah. It's got to be right here, over here. She's got to bra and bring this over that way. No, nope. part of the left-hand side. Want to concentrate now on the two pins on the left, the two and the four. She yeah. gets them all. That's a nice 10 for Tanya Holt. Are you watching? See what she does on 15 now. See how good a break she's going to get here. She seems to favor. It's been attacked again. <laughs> Light stand on the left hand side causing a problem. One, three, six, nine. Tanya Hall can do with this. Oh, <laughs> razor. Yeah. Bruised that pin. Set the wood up nice, though. She gets around that red bench. She'd be able to drive that straight back through. Ooh, she's get over on the nose. That's a seven four and eight for Tanya Hall. Now. The door is open. Yeah, we have yet to see a mark on the second. We do have Not one really mark. Two we have two yet. Right? We do have one rather. That was the mark of Paulette White. Only one. Well, this is not all that shabby. No, nope. that's the red band, the front wood. She'll get them all. Got to be right in here, right here. Yeah, and this should all come this way. Yeah, that pin in the far left is covered. Made no mistake about it. Over around the pin was good enough there. So Annette Tanner picks up the spare. Would now like to load this up. It'll heave there. You can understand that. Some serious big time pressure. Got the strike. Strike on the spare four, Annette Tanner. Well, sir. All of a sudden, things are starting to turn uh, around. Now, Heather Smith gets out. 
<laughs> and that gave her partner, Barry Soward, the big five and hurt his hand, I think. <laughs> Heather with the four horsemen. A seven and nine. Well, that got things going in. Big way, didn't it? Oh, just off a little. Uh -oh. Good-looking ball. A piece of wood now. She needs that to come up and turn or get out of the way altogether. Well, I'd say it's out of the way altogether now. Boy, that's a nice-looking piece of wood, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, she's looking back. What she's looking yeah. at here, should I play this wood here and bring it back, or should I come in on the pins? <laughs> What's it going to be? It's after the pins. Yeah. She wanted to... Uh, <laughs> Jeff's advice like there. Uh, she had to listen to you. <laughs> no, no. I read your book. No, yeah. If you could see the wood play it. <laughs> this is too important a match for that. Coming out Anyway, in. six frames to go in this one. We are indeed getting down to it, but a big uh, thrust by Annette Tan, who is right there, has certainly put her team in contention. In fact, there's only... Uh, Four pins difference between fourth and second, and uh, not a whole lot more between fourth and first. We're going to come back to the action after these messages. All those years I was working, I always made sure I kept on top of what was going on in the world. So that's what my cable TV helps me do now. I can watch what's happening in the House of Commons in Ottawa right while it's happening. Or I can keep my eyes on all the action down at City Hall on the community channel. My wife thinks I should have been a politician. With four kids in the family, I had to be. Cable TV, bringing it all home. back to the Super Bowl. There are only six frames to go in this one. It is our championship match. It's the Frame Plus Art Mixed Candlepin Championship. Bruce Stephen along with Dave Wyman. If you've just joined us, boy, you've missed uh, 14 excellent uh, uh, frames of bowling. We're going to put the numbers up on the board and show them to you. And remember, there is no next week in this one. It's first, second, third, and fourth. 1,500, 300, or 100. And there are the numbers up on the board. You've got to add them up. Oh. The number in the upper right-hand uh, portion of the box containing the names, that's the number from the first string. Add that to the number on the far right. That's the number, of course, after four frames. When you do that, we find Stevie Webb and his partner, uh, Paulette White, on top at 162. 162 for Webb and White. And then, boy, it gets interesting. 145 and 145 and 141. Yeah, 145, 145, 141. But Annette and Barry Soward, 145 open on a strike. So that's going to change. Yeah. No uh, question. Tied with them right now, Heather Smith and Jeff Sampson at 145. Then following them in fourth spot, Tanya Holt and Charlie Slomite sitting at 141. They were in second, then they dropped to third. Now they've dropped to fourth. Yeah, absolutely. But and it's been that kind of a match. There's been a lot of movement of teams, and it's almost like a scramble. And uh, when the uh, gun gets fired and say, okay, that's it, it's over, yeah. where are they going to be? Because they really have been moving up and down and all around. Right now, though, if you want to mark them down again, it's White and Webb at 162, 145 each for Tanner and Soward, Smith and Sampson, and Holt and Sloan White are at 141, as Stevie Webb is up now on the approach to bowl through frames five and six, second string. Six frames to go. The men are going to bowl four of those six. The ladies, of course, the other two. Yeah. 
only 17 pins in a second place. First place, rather, are Tanner and Sauer. And as you mentioned, they got the strike work. Yep. Oh, Brett picked off a single pin there. Something's uh, happened to Steve. He seems to be off just a little. He seems yeah. to be punching a little more than he was. So oh, there's the is. six box. They got to watch it. Spot. Yeah, they got to watch it. Well, there's no gimme here, certainly. We talked a minute ago about the difference between 17 pins. It's now 14, and Tanner and Sauer to open on a strike. That's a better ball. 3-6-10 with coverage. In fact, right now, from fourth to first, there's only 18 pins with six frames to go. That's not a lot. But you're right, he's got the good setup here. This shouldn't be a problem for Stevie. He's got that. He called it a little bit just for a moment there. By his standards. And open. Now Charlie Slunwood. You're often always moving things around, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> nice ball. Oh, Good ball by Charlie. And he that wood did spin. Now it's coming back. Oh, this is gonna be good for Charlie. This might be real good for Charlie. <laughs> this might yeah. be great. Now it's not gonna take the pin, but it's sure gonna set up nice. Uh oh. It's on its way back out a little. That shouldn't matter way in there, though. No. Just a matter of hit it's it. He's got to head the pin. He does. Didn't even need to with there. Charlie Slon White. <laughs> On the other side now. So he would like to load this one up big time. Maybe get another mark. Set his partner up in the next frame. Good look at... Oh, oh boy. A good hit, but bang, right through the middle. The one and five pin. Only two on the mark. Boy, this game can turn against you in a hurry. What a spare shot this would be at a time like this. Ooh. Talk about boost the bowler. Well, this is hurt. Yeah, big time pressure. This is the, uh, he's been in a lot of pressure in this series. He's in another spot right now. He's responded pretty well. See if he can do it again. Boys are quiet. Hear a pin drop. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Boy, that that's hurts. a tough five, five box for Charlie Swan White. Yeah, things can look so good one minute and uh, turn against you the next. Now Barry soured up. Things are looking good for him and his partner right now. And that Tanner picked up the spare in the third, strike in the fourth. And Barry's open on that strike now. $25, of course, for the double strike. Almost did it. Boy, here comes some pressure on Steve and Paula. Nine pin yep. break. He's guaranteed nine on the strike. But you know he wants to put that spare up there. Got the wood in the channel. Just saw for a moment there that championship trophy. There it is. Back and gets a single pin though. Wow. Only four pins out of second place right now. First place, rather, right now. That's four pins. That's the good news. The bad news is White and Webb are open. <laughs> Having a struggle with them, aren't you? <laughs> Had the right idea. He had to get just a piece of that pin to the right. Missed it on the left-hand side. Now he'll try to be a little more flush. Move through Ooh. the hole. So that's an eight for Barry Sauer. But certainly, teams are closing in ever so slowly on White and Webb. Six pins back are that Tanner and Barry Sauer. 13 pins back. Heather Smith and her partner here, Jeff Sampson. This is a guy that can string out a few marks in a big hurry. Oh, 
left side. Boy, oh, he shakes both the five and the nine. You gotta wonder sometimes. At the overhead view of that shot, he's got a piece of wood in there. Yes, if he goes straight in on the wood, Bruce, he's gonna take it. Yeah. can miss the nose of the wood, cut a bit of the pin. That's dicey. What he really wants to do is just hammer it right on the top of the wood. And boom! Oh. That's where That's he wanted to be, right did. there. He gets the 10, though. Not many pins being dropped right now. No. Hey, are we really getting down to it again if you missed it? or just joined us. It's the final in our Frame Plus Art Candlepin Mixed Championship. 1,000 for first, 500 for second, then 300 and 100. Get some help there. He needs that seven. He's going to get that, and he sets up a, well, I'm going to say a beauty. Let's wait for this wood. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Got to send that wood straight back. Might Anywhere around too. the red band. He doesn't want to spin it so much. He wants to try and push it straight yeah. back into the 10. He's made this shot many, many times. Makes it again here. Big mark to Jeff Sampson. Well, top of the order now. We're going to see the ladies again. We'll see them for the last time. Byron, of course, a tie. I've been telling you all through this series, tie for second, we'd have the roll off. See who yeah. moves on this time. Any kind of a tie, we have to have a roll off to determine who finishes where. On the mark, that's six for White and Webb, but a tough square chance here for Paulette White. Oh, nice try. She has been bowling, bowling rather so well in this series. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> that's the nine for Paulette. Six in the mark, nine there. She's giving everything a chance up there. Again, single pin now for 10 for Paulette. Uh -oh. Boy, that's oil nice pinning. Nine and 10 for Paulette under big time pressure here in the final. Tanya Holt up now. He would really like to come up with something here. shot two four seven and wood and a six pin she's got to split the two four just so and push the two pin over into the wood across the six well i'm just going to go over to the other side in a minute Gets her nine here. She really has to put a mark up here to help her partner. Give him a chance coming home. Because there are only three frames left for Holt and Slon. Oh boy, she got right on the front end and hit good, but that's a tough spare chance. The diamond plus the ten. Nice try. She did Boy. give that a nice try. Real good effort. Going in for 10. Yes, that's the 10 there. Annette Tanner up now. 11 pins out of first place. 
four frames to go for this team. He gets right on the front end, but uh, that's a tough leave. Well, I don't know. Maybe, just maybe, right down in there. He has a couple ways of looking at this one. That's where I'd be with it. That left wood up high. The ball should come off. Get to the right-hand side. You might get the ball to come over. She's going to go in that way. Oh, she nice shot. shot it. Nice shot. Boy, that was a perfect shot. She did get the ball to come over. And the wood took the two on the right-hand side. That is a big-time spare. Now, it is getting a little crowded at the top. Eleven pins down from first place. Less what she gets here. She counts six. The difference now is only five pins between White and Webb and Holt and Swan White. Just missed. Got to get one more. Just gonna get another one here. Yeah. yeah. We didn't say how long it would take. But <laughs> Sometimes you think that Ted would have eyes. Right on the pin. Boy, we have got a good setup and a real big time showdown coming yeah. between Barry Soward and Stephen Webb. Only five pins the difference between those two teams for top spot. Now, the battle could get much more interesting as uh, Heather Smith gets up here. She's open on a spare that her partner Jeff Sampson put up. Off the side. Gets only four in that mark. Does have a little coverage in behind. And look at yes. that, a big spare for Heather Smith. Well. <laughs> There's really no quit in any of these Eight bowlers are watching here. That was a real big spare. And it keeps Smith and Sampson right in the hunt. Put another one of those up, it would make it interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Off the side there, another five bonus pins. Piece of wood. Well, that's not all that bad. Well, this will go. Absolutely. Oh, let's try. She had to be on the one out in front. She cleans the plate here. They're only eight pins out of first place. Only going to get one. But I'll tell you what, we have got a great showdown happening here. It's the final, the championship game in our Frame Plus Art Mixed Double Championship. Only two frames per team to come. We're going to come back in a minute. We're going to let you look at the scoreboard. We'll let you write the scores down. We'll set the stage, and then we'll declare our champion. All that coming up right after this. Welcome back once again to the Super Bowl. You're looking at the scoreboard, and those are the numbers that will determine uh, in the next couple of minutes uh, just who is our Frame Plus Art champion. We're going to go through them quickly for you from top to bottom. Webb and White, 203. Keep in mind, only two frames per team to come. Webb and White leading at 203. In second place, just uh, five pins back at 198 are Tanner and Sauer. That's Tanner and Sauer at 198. At 193, just 10 pins off the pace are Smith and Sampson. Smith and Sampson at 1. 93 and just 26 pins off the pace a couple of frames to go and Charlie Slonway has got the good strike ball Holt and Slon White at 177 that's the situation as the bowlers now get up it'll be Stevie Webb to start this one off and finish off well, there's been a tremendous series if you look at the good top of the winning of the trophy, trophy. Yeah. yeah real nice shot of the trophy Stevie Webb is up 
And that's a trick for two people to bowl on one lane like that. It is, I must say. It's a little bit like ice skating, the pairs. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, this is a tight one. And it's a big difference between finishing first and finishing second. The trophy is won. The prestige of being reigning champions. But also, there's a $500 difference. Oh, nice Ooh. try. Yeah. The one thing, the other bowlers, in particular Tanner and Sauer, have to hope that Webb doesn't mark here. And that certainly would leave the door wide open for them. And maybe Smith and Sampson, who aren't that far off, with a long shot, Holton Swanwick. Dean well, Webb gets the 10 there. Boy, I tell you, it has become very quiet here at the Super Bowl, and understandably so. I was sitting at one, or I should say, 213. Stevie Webb here. Final frame for his team. Again, in the case of a tie, a one frame roll up. The women will roll first. They're still tied, then the men will try and decide it. That's for any position where there could be a tie. Needs it. Oh, whoa. Well, well, well. Stevie Webb has been in a lot of pressure packed situations. Tough to have one more pressure packed than this one. And nice he comes shot. back and cleans the plate. Boy, you have got to love that if you're a Stevie Webb fan. So with that, they check in at 2.23. That is the first place score right now. And that is the number to beat. And that might be the number to beat. 26 pins back. It's Charlie Sloan White here and his partner. He's going to think strike. Boy. Yeah. Ooh. Wants this. He needs 46 pins, being 26 pins back in the final two frames. Don't ever say quit to Charlie Sloan White either. <laughs> Art Smith going down to check a piece of wood for yeah, us. Yeah, come way up the lanes. Got to get that removed. Oh, well, maybe not. It is really close. It's rolling back. That's all oh, I guess it stopped there. Now he's got it. Charlie trying to spare here. He needs this. He's got to have it. Oh. Oh. Frustrating for Charlie. Yeah. All his partner can do is sit and wait and hope. Charlie comes back and gets a single pin. goes to the other side. Oh, and punches through. Again, under great pressure, comes back and gets on the opposite pin right out in front. Real heartbreaker. Side. Don't go away, folks. We've got Barry Soward coming up. His team just five pins behind and two frames for him to come. And then Jeff Sampson, his team just ten pins behind. Jeff's got a couple of frames. That's a pretty good out there for Charlie Slonway. Gets a good round of applause. He picks up the nine there. And it will not be the championship for Tanya Holt and Charlie Slonway. They finish with a 196 two string total. Now, Barry Sauer, the door is open for he and his partner, Annette Tanner. He needs 26 pins here to move into first place. Oh, boy. He might have to wait till the next frame to get his mark. This is tough. All Paulette White, Stephen Webb can do. Sit and wait. In fact, Paulette's not even looking at the pins. She says, I can't look. <laughs> now she takes a glance. <laughs> look at Paulette. Just yeah. look at Paulette. Well, she is just hanging on here. That's a, that's a great part of the game. I give full marks to Barry there. He gets the mark. Now he needs 16 pins here. It's a mark. To move into first place. Yeah. With six on it. And then Jeff Sampson would be up. 
He'd be 11 pins off the pace, so he'd need 31 to tie. But right now, let's deal with this one for the moment. 16 pins in this frame. Harry's thinking, how many times have I been up and marked? It's not that difficult. Let's see. And look at this. Well, he didn't mark. Or at least he didn't strike, but he has got a tailor-made spare here. Then he needs six on it. So he needs to make this and get six on it. And Jeff Sampson's yet to count. Shot of a lifetime. Oh, he's got it. He got it out a little bit of the left. Now, if he does get five on this mark, keep this in mind, that would tie him for first. Boy, this is getting maybe, really interesting here. Maybe that's what Paulette White was thinking look at about. Paul, look at Paulette. Look, look at Paulette with her hand uh, up over her face there. One. Oh five to tie gosh. for first. Six to move into sole possession. And Jeff Sampson is waiting in the wings. His team's 11 been pins back. Wow. Paulette not even watching. Oh, geez. Here it is. He hits, and he's got six. He's got six on it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Two. 24, one pin up on Stevie Webb and Paulette White. Now stepping up is Jeff Sampson. My math is right. He needs 31 pins. 31 pins to tie. Let's see what Jeff can do here. Well, he needs a couple of marks for it. I look very sour. Boy. Spare and the ten. Off the side. Moves the wood around. Well. If he doesn't pick up this, he moves into a double strike situation. Unbelievable finish. Boy, is it quiet. There's the shot. Oh! oh. oh. Come back. Unbelievable, got the tough one and didn't get the one we thought would go. That wasn't a big pin, quite frankly, because he needs a double strike here. And on the second one, he needs three pins. He needs two pins. While he dropped one, he does need three. Twenty-two pins in this frame. That's what he needs. Not, not gonna be. Not gonna be. Wow. Well, well, well. Unbelievable finish. Unbelievable indeed. Stamper cleans the plate there. He will throw the bonus ball now. The other side now for Jeff Sampson. Boy. And he gets seven bonus pins on that mark. But I want to tell you something. This was some kind of a match. A one pin victory for Annette Tanner and Barry Soward over Paulette White and Stephen Webb. We'll come back, uh, talk about the scores for a moment, and meet the champions. We'll do that right after this. For week number 15 of the Frame Plus Art Candle Pin Challenge Mixed Doubles is now over. Our winners tonight are Annette Tanner and Barry Soward, followed by Paulette White and Stephen Webb and Heather Smith, Jeff Sampson, and finally Tanya Holt and Charlie Slom White. With the bowlers right now, Bruce Stevens. Well, thank you very much, David. And just a tremendous finish to this, our Frame Plus Art Mixed Candle Pin Championship. Let's one more time meet the bowlers in the order in which they finished. Finishing fourth in a great performance from Tanya Holt and Charlie Slon White, 105.91 for that 196 total of fourth place finishers. Placing third is Heather Smith and Jeff Sampson, a 108 and a 111. 219 total, they are third place finishers. And finishing second, Paulette White and Stephen Webb. And what a great second place finish. Just one pin out of first place with a 119 and a 104 for a 223 total. And of course, we have our champions in Annette Tanner and Barry Soward. First of all, we'll get this out of the way, $1,000 in cash. Congratulations to you, our 1992 champions. Now I've got to ask you, Annette, uh, you got things off pretty good. Spare, strike, uh, that, would, that had to be the highlight for you in this one. It was. It was a great 
feeling in. There was a lot of pep behind me. I talked to Dad, I talked to Barry, and there's a lot. It felt really good when I threw the balls. Let me ask you this question, that in the case of a tie, the ladies were going to go up and bowl a one-frame roll-off. Were you thinking about that? Not really, but I think I would have been pretty nervous if I had to do that one. <laughs> right. Congratulations to you. Now, you know, Barry, you were the guy in the hot spot. You knew you had to have a mark. Uh, you didn't get it in the uh, ninth, had to get it in the tenth, and you did. But uh, even, and it was not tough a one. You had good coverage with the wood. But you knew you needed six on it uh, to get first place. Five was good enough for a tie, but four, you were going to be second. Yeah, well, the spear was probably the easiest part. It was thrown on it that, that did it. But I had a partner all this way through, and I'm not, it was tremendous the way she bowled and it really, you know, kept giving me my confidence when I got up there and it was, it was tremendous to bowl with her. Really well, well. Ab absolutely. Look, congratulations to both of you. You gave us many thrills throughout this uh, competition. We certainly look forward to seeing you back uh, next year. Thank you, Bruce. Well, our champions then, Barry Soward and Annette Tanner, our 1992 champions in our Frame Plus Art Mixed Candlepin Championships. We certainly hope you enjoyed the show and will join us next year when we do it all again. Until then, for all the gang here at the Super Bowl and all our Shaw Cable crew, we say so long for now. Great.